suppose I know nothing about the source. It just comes up on a random web page and I don't know them. Nobody I know knows them. I don't know whether they're popular or not and there's no institutional affiliation. There's nobody, there's nobody vouching for that. I can still make a, a lot of judgment about how trustworthy or how credible that information is just from looking at the information, just from my experience with information in general. So first of all, does the thing make logical sense? Does it, does it hang together? So as you're doing your, your blog post, for example, this is a big deal. I will trust your blog post if you make sense, if your argument makes sense and there's no big holes in it, if it's logically consistent. That's a big deal. That, that really, in addition to all of these criteria about the source of information, the information itself will be trustworthy if it makes sense, if there's no big holes in the argument. And you've seen this many times, I'm sure, in your life. That guy didn't make any sense at all. And even though he's a movie star or a rock star or something like that, the thing he just said or the thing she just said just doesn't make sense, so I ain't going to trust it. Right? So these things are not mutually exclusive. They interplay. And all of these things, whether you know it or not, are coming into account when you look at a piece of information and decide whether it's authoritative or not. Okay, does it make logical sense? Is it consistent with what I already know? This is a kind of an interesting one because things that reiterate beliefs you already have are more, trusting, are more trusted to you than things that don't. Why is that? Well, my experience says X, they're saying Y, and X and Y don't go together, so I don't trust what they're saying. Now, you gotta be kinda wary about that because if that was solely and, and totally true, you'd never change your opinion about anything, right? Because you'd only listen to things that are already in your opinion sphere, and you'd never listen to things that are outside your opinion sphere, and, uh, and you'd never change. You'd never do anything different. So this factor interacts with all the other factors, but by and large, things that you already agree with are more trustworthy than things that you don't already agree with. And what you're saying in effect there is that, well, I know something about this too. And what I know about it is in, is in contrast to what you know about it. And so I don't trust what you're saying about it. I think you're, I think you're, you're off the wall. Okay, there's another one here that's kind of more subterranean, below the surface. And that's how does it hit you emotionally? How does it make you feel? And this is, a, this is a huge deal in the trustworthiness of information. If it, if it, let's see how to put this. Let me, just, let me just not give a specific example and just give it to you in general. An emotional appeal to your, to your pride, to your integrity, to all the things that you believe in, to all the deep felt emotions that you have is going to influence your judgment of whether something is trustworthy or not. So for example, if I read a web page and, that web, and I'm a very patriotic person and that web page appeals to my patriotism, that's going to make me trust the source even more. Even if it's not necessarily logical or even if it's not consistent with what I believe, it's appealing to me at a gut level, not an intellectual level. The logic is about the intellectual level. This emotional appeal is about a gut level. And if it appeals to me emotionally, if it hits me in my gut, I'm much more likely to trust it. Okay, that's the idea of what authority is, and I want, I'm, I'm hoping that that outlines the issues for you. And you can use this as a way, as kind of a little gauge. As you look at information, you can kind of go check, 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 and instead of having these things be below the surface, instead of having them operate inside you but you not being aware of them, say to yourself, this is a piece of information. Okay, what's the source? Do I have any experience with this source? Yeah, I've been reading this, this, this blog for a long time, so I have a lot of experience with it, check. Um, are, are they credentialed? Is the person a PhD or whatever, you know? And yeah, check. Uh, is, is he or she popular? Yeah, this blog gets tons and tons of hits. Those are reasons why I think I should trust it. Or I might go the other way and say, well, even though they're popular, you know, that's, that's tending me to trust them, but I don't trust them because uh, of whatever else, you know, they don't have the right logic or their emotional appeal, they were appealing to emotion I just don't have or whatever. Okay. So the idea here is to become aware of this, to understand it, to, to use it in your